sight is failing. My brain is failing. Welcome back to part three of the State of the Whip. Theoretical knitting. I wonder if I did a title card there. Probably not. I'm probably really sick of editing by this point. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Starting at the top of the stack with the most recently purchased yarn. I have this big bag of Cascade Eco. It was supposed to be for my mom's boho throw, aka the sweater in a month. Um, but I literally, on the way home, like, within 10 minutes of buying this, was like, no, it's not right, it's not right, I'm not gonna want to knit this, it's not the right yarn, I gotta go buy a different yarn. So I did. Um, but I could have returned this yarn, and, uh, no, I don't want to. I'm gonna make a sweater for me, because I'm seeing how fast bulky sweaters knit up. So I think it's going to be a... I don't remember, I think it was like a Swedish word or something, but it meant stone warrior. Um, editing Diana, I'm gonna make you put up so many pictures. I'm gonna scooch the side and you can put up a nice picture of the thing that I'm gonna make out of this yarn. There, Editing Diana, don't you hate me right now? So I've got... I've actually got three skeins of the dark, so I guess it's gonna be a dark sweater with light color work. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know how to wind this. Like, it's so big. I can't, I definitely can't do it on my ball winder. Like, I think I just have to wind it by hand. I have a Nosta pin, which is just a fancy stick. But I feel like that would make an absolutely enormous cake. Also, my cakes on a Nosta pin always come out looking more like footballs. So maybe I just wind these into balls by hand. Not enthused about that. So this will be a later project, possibly a next fall winter project. It's going to be a later project. There is a kit for the night shift shawl. I have... This is very difficult. There we go. There's some warm colors and some cool colors, and I feel like they will play very nicely together. This is... It's Cascade 220 Superwash Wave. It's slightly marled. So I think it'll make a great shawl eventually uh, one day. Uh, eventually one day. <laughs> not anytime soon. I'm not casting this on anytime soon. You saw how many works in progress I have two weeks ago. I got lots. I don't need to be casting on other things. Oh, I got all of this Barocco Indio which is exactly the yarn that is called for for the mallow. I'm not leaving spaces for pictures, am I? Uh, let's go this side this time. Uh, for the mallow, which uh, Jocelyn made and wears so often, and it's so pretty, and I admire it every time. <laughs> so I'm going to make myself one in the yarn that it actually calls for in a nice light neutral gray color because I somehow don't en have any light, colored layering pieces. They're all dark colors. <laughs> Such a dark wardrobe, so I'm gonna make a light colored thing. So there. And it's even all in balls, so like I can just cast that on. Also the steal of a deal on this. I think I got this whole bag for 50 bucks, which is like half price, if that. So like, that's great. There was this bag of four, five skeins of Unique Chunky Extra Fine Superwash Merino. I have no idea what to make with this, but it was on such a good sale at the yarn sale that I just, I had to. And it's soft and it's squishy and it's going to make something glorious. Maybe a sweater? I'm just concerned that it would pill terribly because it's a very soft single ply. So I, I feel like it'll just pill so fast so I don't know what to do with it because of that and my light's just gone out hang on yes so the problem of single ply merino chunky I feel like it's gonna pill really really quickly so I don't know maybe I'll have to look on Ravelry and see what to make out of that I don't know I don't know but it was too pretty not to buy okay we're on to the fun part the giant tub from the closet
the giant tub from the closet. <sighs> Not as stuffed full <sighs> as it used to be after I took out all of the um, theoretical spinning fluff and put it on the shelves that you can't actually see up there. It occurred to me literally today that I can actually change the height of the shelves here in my background. God, mirror imaging is so tricky. I can change the height of these shelves. I can just take everything off the shelves and move all the shelves lower so that you can actually see the three shelves of yarn and fiber that I have and not all of this crap. I can put all of this stuff in a cupboard. I can, I literally have tons of space in this cupboard behind me. I, you know, I could have organized this so much better. So coming at you in January and uh, organize my office with me video is what it's going to be. Office slash craft room. I don't even know where to start. Uh, right here. What's this? This is something that's old enough to have a paper pattern. It is... Oh, it's the Distinction Shawl. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put up, <laughs> I'm gonna put up a picture. That's better. Um, this, I cast it on at one point and there was something about it I didn't like and it wasn't the colors. I do not have any needles or notions in here. This is good. I uh, oh, I even have the ball bands in here. Okay. Uh, so this is. Hang on. Let me. Oh, it's very folded. It's Malabrigo, uh, Mecca base, and this color is Anniversario. It looks like a party. It looks very much like a party. It's all pinks and purples with some like blues and greens. It's it's a party. It looks like confetti. Paired with, I suspect this is called charcoal. It's a very dark gray, heathered gray. These are wound so tightly. My goodness, they are dense. And this one does not have a ball band. It's just red. It's a very nice crimson ruby red. Scarlet red, it's a very nice scarlet crimson color. I have no idea um, what I didn't like about this. When I started it, maybe I had the wrong needles. I was, the, the fabric was wrong. I don't know. But I cast this on at least once and then ripped it out at some point. But I kept the pattern and the yarn, which means I want to make it again. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, um, here's a kit from when I did the Strickmick Club. That was the Martina Bames Shawl Club in 2017. Really, the first year we podcasted. Uh, this is for the spiral, I think. I don't know. Let's pull this out. Crinkle, crinkle. What is this yarn? This yarn, it's a gorgeous gradient yarn. Lowly. 500 grams of merino. It smells a bit sheepy, but it's this gorgeous gradient. Uh, tilt that way. There we go. It's blue to green to, like, purple in the middle. Pinkish purple, it's hard to tell. Maybe red? Anyway, that's gorgeous. And it's supposed to make... What are you supposed to make? Spiral escape. Something... Some kind of shawl that... You know, I'm gonna put up a picture. Editing Diana, throw up a picture. Um, and I just never got to it. Like, it's even... It is in a cake and ready to go, and I just never got around to it, I think. I was like, I'm going to knit these all in the order that they come in. Squash. And I ended up not liking the first pattern very much, but I'm like, no, I have to finish it before I start any of the rest of these. Um, but I never actually finished it. I frogged it, and I don't think it's even in here anymore. I think I gave it away. <laughs> um, yeah, but I liked the other yarns and patterns in the Strickmick Club. So... You know, I'm not even, like, super duper keen on this pattern, but this yarn's really pretty. So, I'm gonna leave that as some theoretical knitting. Um, definitely not one that's gonna happen anytime soon. Here's some more Strickmick. This one... Oh, we've got some yarn from Miss Babs. 
the pattern was lightning. Again by Martina Baim, uh, editing Diana, throw up a picture. And the yarn is gorgeous. Look at this yarn. Um, there we go. Hold it up on this side so you can see both. I love this yarn. I don't know if I love the pattern, to be honest. I may just appropriate this yarn for other purposes. It could be a very nice Endless Summer Adventures, for instance. But I mean, maybe I should actually knit this pattern and see if I actually like it. I don't know. Oh, it's got beads! Oh yeah, these kits came with tiny little beads! You're supposed to bind off with four little beads on the end. That was like her signature thing. Come on. There we go. That was, that was like the signature thing. I forgot about that. Huh. Anyway. Um, that is another thing that it, nothing is going to happen with it anytime soon or possibly at all. I mean, like, something will eventually happen with the yarn, but I don't know that it's going to be that particular project. Uh, this is a project bag that I believe my mom sewed for me. What is in here? Oh, I started to make a sheep toy for, um, somebody's kid that's probably, like, four years old now. But I started to make a sheep toy. I got like most of the way finished too. I really wish I'd stopped doing that. <laughs> Anyways, this is a little... I think there are like bobble stitches all the way around. So it's, it's so fluffy. Maybe I'll just finish him for me. He's so fluffy and very cute. And um, a notion bag that apparently... I, I assume it's for notions. Um, that goes with the other project bag that I did not remember this existed. So that's going to go in the, um, current notions bag. Oh, there's a built-in pocket. My mom built a pocket into this project bag. Oh my goodness. I did not realize. I'm learning so much today. Uh, the yarn is loops and threads. Charisma? Maybe? Is that the white or is that some of this brown? I don't know. Espresso. It's definitely the brown. Okay, loops and threads. Charisma is the brown. Of which I have quite a bit, apparently. That I was going to make the ears and stuff out of. Bernat. Bernat pipsqueak is what the um, body of the sheep is made out of. Okay, come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and I've got little eyes. I was going to put little eyes on the sheep. Uh, and i got to wind up some of this yarn here. Because, like, literally... I don't, I don't even know why I stopped doing this. This is so cute. I'm going to make myself a sheep. I'm going to finish myself a sheep. At some point in the not too distant future. It's going to be a stunningly distant future. What's this? The lighthouse shawl is actually a work in progress. This is in the wrong bin. Oh my. Oh my. Huh. Okay. So this was on my bingo card for this year, which means I started it last year. Feeling a little bit of guilt and shame. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's wind this. This was a kit that I bought at Knit City from Midknit Cravings. And there's this fun speckle. Look at this fun speckle. And there's a nice pretty neutral gray. And... I think I actually used up all the red. I think actually the rest... I'd used all the red and I put the rest of the red into um, an advent calendar last year. So yeah, there's just... Hang on. Where's an edge that I can safely pick this up? Without unraveling. So like... <sighs> I'm... I'm solid... Like, gotta be nearly halfway through this shawl, and I just stopped. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? I think because... I got a little bit annoyed with myself that my top edge isn't quite, um, square. I think I 
did some unintentional decreases and accidentally made a bit of a curvy shape. But you know what? I kind of don't care. So uh, we got to finish this show. <laughs> this is going to go in the whip bin. I finished making that video and I'm like, wasn't, wasn't there the, the lighthouse shawl? Whatever happened to that? I don't know where that is. <laughs> so not only did I lose three balls of yarn for a project, I lost a whole project. We're professionals. I'm professional. It's fine. This is going to go in the proper box now. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled theoretical knitting. Oh, this bag. This is such a fun, it's a fun robot bag. It's a RoboCup bag. What is in here? Oh, the Natsu scarf for the Natsu cosplay. Um, Jocelyn made most of this scarf. Um, I think I like bound off or like added a bit or something. This is not how it's supposed to be worn. <laughs> Um, but it was made to go with my Natsu cosplay. Yeah, there's like an extra little, a little strip right here. That's, uh, yep. <laughs> so that was supposed to happen. Oh, there's another bit of a strip. Yeah. Anyway, um, obviously lost motivation on this because, you know, well, haven't exactly been going, been going to a lot of places that need a Natsu cosplay. Natsu being an anime character. Not a lot of anime conventions have been happening recently. So, yeah, remembering that's in there. Be finishing that in a panic in front of the next one. When we finally eventually go to Anime North or something. Whatever the one in Toronto is. Uh, let's see, this is another one that my mom made for me, probably out, I think out of some old pajama pants, and there's this fun little, little llama keychain, maybe it's an alpaca, I don't know. Oh, and in bad jokes, adventure, alpaca bag. Yeah. Okay, this is an unstarted project of DK weight yarn and some roving from the Sheepish Spinner in French Lavender. Uh, what is this supposed to be? What what did I plan for this to be? There's fluff in here. Get out of there. What was this supposed to be? There's a paper pattern. Thrummed mittens! Oh my gosh, I've been really on this thrummed mitten thing for a while. I should really make myself some thrummed mittens. I definitely have two pairs of thrummed mittens worth of yarn for myself. I should really do that. How about? How about I do that? And then I could, like, have some project bags back. What is, and there's, like, a little pouch here on the... I don't know what this is supposed to be. There's, like, a weird little pouch on the side. I, I guess it's supposed to be for... I legit have no idea, but I, I think it's an old sock that's been turned into a pouch on the side here. But it's not really big enough for a whole lot. I don't know. What are you? Oh, fiber. We're eating fiber. I can't believe I got three videos in before I actually ate fiber. This is some kind of record. Oh, it's all the crochet squares from, so I think it was 2017, Jocelyn did 365 days of granny squares, or crochet squares, not necessarily granny squares, and I did 60 or 70 days. Um, in any case, I have a heckin' lot of squares. A lot of mine ended up just being um, plain boring granny squares um, just to catch up but there's some that are, you know, this sort of a shape or this sort of a shape or I have a lot that are all different. Some basic granny squares, some unbasic granny squares, some things that definitely need blocking <laughs> before they'll make anything roughly resembling a square. I should really lay these all out and 
do something with them because I've got so many and so many interesting patterns. This one's like bricks. What is that? What treasures do I have in here? Do I have that sunflower? I I remember I made a sunflower and it had a brown background and a yellow sunflower and it was very 70s and I actually liked it like an astonishing amount that's not it but it was these colors spray yellow and oh, it was a model brown i forgot about that that it was sort of a a medley of browns my voice is starting to go my goodness that's not it oh yes a three-dimensional sunflower just look at this it's so extra like it sticks out Oh, it's so extra. I have no idea what to do with so many three-dimensional squares. I think I just have to make an enormous, um, potentially rather ugly blanket. Or maybe I seam them together into some kind of very strange sweater. I don't think it would make a very good sweater. Some of them have too many holes in them. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I can make a sweater out of these. Because, <laughs> like, they're pretty great. Can you imagine how tacky a sweater made out of these would be? Oh my gosh. Okay. Because I definitely have enough for that. I don't know if it's going to be a blanket or a sweater, but it's going to be something. Okay, last project. Last project, which is good because my voice is going. What was this? Oh, this was the one from the Strychnik Club that I was really excited about. I'll lean this way because editing Diana needs to put in the plum leaf picture. I believe there was some extra kits of this and I also bought one for Jocelyn and we were going to knit it together. We're going to have a little mini knit along because we both have this exact kit for this exact shawl and I'm still very excited about it because it's a gorgeous purple and then gray with some like acid green and like poisony pink fuchsia colors. And um, I'm still very excited about that. Uh, yeah, I've taken me obviously a very long time uh, to get around to this, but I still want to make that. Definitely still want to make that. Oh, and that's it. That is all of the theoretical knitting that has been bundled up potentially with patterns into project bags. Obviously, all of the yarn on the shelves behind me and all of the spinning fluff is also purely theoretical. There are many, many socks and so much spinning in my future, but that's very, very future. Very, very future. I really got to stop getting distracted by all of your pretty pictures in Patreon Discord because, oh my goodness, you have enabled me <laughs> into not finishing anything that I set out to finish. Years. I've been, been stashing stuff in this bin for years. I haven't worked on it at all. I have knitting plans for years. Stop distracting me. Stop getting distracted. Okay, we're done. There's fluff on the microphone. There's fluff on my mouth. There's just, there's just fluff. My brain is fluff. Um, this lighting is also kind of fluff. So we're done. We're done. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this wild ride of nostalgia and memory lane and um, no small amount of guilt and shame. Um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And don't forget to knit.